Hey, what's going on, my fellow collectors? Just as I promised, I'm back. And yes, this is my videos to my favorite head sculptor, which is Yuli, guys. And uh, these are the figures, some of the Yuli collections from Hot Toys. And uh, just start out with the with them, the one with the most problems and uh, kind of disappointment far as in um with the problems so just want to talk about the bad first and get that out before I get into the other figures and uh you know still a cool head scope as you can see well you can't see but I'll get into but uh check it out this is the box basically to the Watchmen the movie guys banging movie very enjoyable movie for me guys um I like the seriousness of it with the mix with action and just the you know, it just was an all-around good hero-type movie. Uh, with that being said, uh, like I said, this is the box. I don't remember this actor's name, but he's he's in a lot of movies nowadays, and um, I like him. He actually plays in this TV series that I was watching called Magic City. And um I forgot the other movie that he played in, but cool, simple design box, black and yellow. The Watchmen colors, as you can see the figure on the back. And um, basically, it's just the warnings and all of that. And uh, I'm not going to really be able to do all this with one hand. But I'll see if I can kind of open up just so you can see the credits and everything on the box. Let's see. Come on, box. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Almost there, guys. Bear with me. All righty. There we go. There we go. We have it open. Alright guys, so here you can see it, a picture, beautiful bright yellow picture of the comedian. And I think this is real life picture. Oh, I'm really struggling with this box, damn it. Alright, I'm just going to leave it like that guys. But uh, as you can see, bright yellow picture, I believe this is the real life type picture of the comedian. Yeah, it is, because the boots don't really look like that at all. And I can tell by the fit the suit. Here's the, the people that brought this figure to us, and here is that sculptor that I was talking about, Yuli, guys. Head sculptor by Yuli, and like I said earlier, she is one of my favorites. She is the favorite. I ain't gonna say one. She's my favorite artist out of, you know, collecting one six head sculpts and stuff. And there you go, so as you guys see. And then let's not forget about the head painter, J.C. Hong, which is one of my favorite painters. And 1-6 collecting. So them two together is like amazing. Alrighty, so that's the box. So now let's jump into this figure, guys. And bang, baby, here you have it, the comedian. kind of be quiet for a minute so you guys can see some of the details of this figure and he's definitely all busted to hell I'm not gonna front uh, something happened to the leg strap over here and I never replaced it so it's kind of dingling off but um, cool little sheath boot holder knife as you can see removable um, the boots is very cool I like these boots guys very rugged, dirt bike looking type boots almost. Motorcycle looking type boots, whatever you want to call it. I just like the style of them. Very nice sculpted. Can't stress that enough. Alright. And then we have the suit. Which is a nice sculpted rubber suit. I like the designs all on the suit. And uh, you can get minor posability. Minor posability on the suit. But like I said, the design is just very robust, as you can see. With nice textures and sculptings all up on the suit, as you can see. And this figure is equipped with uh, dual pistols. Shame they didn't put the smiley face 
but I heard it was uh, licenses reasons. But people were actually getting it done. I just never got around to doing it. It wasn't really that big of a deal to me. So, I mean, it does make the figure complete, but I just, like I said, never got to it. But uh, I love this big extra chunky type uh, cup area, cup protector. It's real nice and chunky, as you can see. And it just stands out from the suit. It really makes this suit like it's a nice armor type suit that would protect him. Well, minor protection, whatever you want to call it. And this body that uh, Hot Toys has used is the the basic muscle body, true type, that you guys seen used for a lot of their figures nowadays. The Wolverine figure for one. Uh, what else? What else? Well, you guys know. I'm not going to break it down like that. But a cool figure, guys. I love this suit. And believe it or not, I was going to pass on this figure, but this one, Hot Toys figures, was priced reasonably, which this figure, I think, retail for $135, and that was like the best price you can get them. The most expensive was probably $150, but uh, I hopped up on it fast, got it for $135, and um, now we paying $200 and up for figures, <laughs> damn near. You know, you might get some that's $190, but... Uh, you know, just look, you get a lot of stuff, and this isn't even everything. Uh, he actually comes with a grenade launcher. And as you can see, he's equipped with grenades, uh, the two dual pistols with clips in each, uh, boot knife, tons of accessories. Now, let's get to the sad part of this figure, guys. Look at that. You see that? It's all stretched out and oiled down in the back. Very disappointing. And this is actually coming off right here as you can see from the glue undoing I guess because it got so wet but look at the oil right there see I had took this figure out the box once I found out that they were leaking and um, you know I just figured by it being out in the air it wouldn't leak anymore but I was mistaken because look at that this thing is like he's fucking sweating nastily <laughs> sorry for the language guys but this is very disappointing you gotta just laugh because you know stop from crying you know we pay too much money for too much money for these figures and when you see stuff like this and look i got gloves on my hands so i don't want to touch the thing it's a shame but i don't want to go into a rant this is about one of my favorite artists which is yuli i keep saying my one of my favorite the favorite artist, I gotta say. As you can see, beautiful sculpting all around, guys. Look at that. And this is Yuli. Work a couple years back. She's just gotten better. Sculpting lines around the laugh lines of the face. Look at the scar that they've captured. Amazing. Wow. Very good likeness to the actor. As you can see, even around the mask, I love how they went with a sculpted type mask, how it's raised on the face, as you can see. Beautiful figure all around. Despite all the problems that it has, still one of my favorites in the collection. It's just a shame, though, with that issue back there, as you can see. I'm going to have to try to just clean and then wipe that, 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 uh, that oil slick shit off the best way I can. But you can see the oil is kind of leaked underneath of the shoulder pads and everything. But since we had shoulder pads, another one of my favorites is the shoulder pads. But, um, yeah, so beautiful head scope, beautiful figure. This is number one of one of my Yuli collections, guys. So stay tuned for more. Okay, guys? And I'm going to also try to narrow it down to my favorite head scope out of the pics that you're going to see out of these videos. Alrighty? So stay tuned. Moogie215, and I'm signing out. Peace.